Hi guys, it is the first clip of the first video for the January 2019 photo card haul thing. So yay, and I have a bunch of packages here. This has been gathered through Boxing Day to the 4th of January, so it's been quite a while since I've not received any mail since I was on holiday. But yes, I've gathered all of this. There's quite a lot here. I'm happy that I have it and we can go through it today. So I'm going to do the bigger ones first because I have like... um kind of like file type letter things. I should know what are in these. I know it's in this one. This is the one that I've been waiting for ages and I can finally open it up and show you guys what I actually got. So yeah, there's a lot here. So just take it all in <laughs> while you can. Okay, so I just realized I didn't actually scribble out my address for that. So I'm just flipping them around because that's how it's easier to open, I guess. Um, For this one, it was opened up, but it's quite a tight fit to what it is, so I guess I'll do this one first. Yay! <laughs> we have Irene's paper folder for Perfect Velvet. There should be the photo card in it. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's good. So, I think I have a Yeti's coming in as well. I um, don't know when that will be. Uh, I'll just put this up here because there's going to be quite a few photo cards in this frame, so do that. So I have quite a few of these, um, I think a couple of these are from the same person because I did a trade and then I think I it was a group order I got them from, so I'm guessing I'm just going to open up the white envelopes first because it's from the same person, not all of them, but I'm guessing it's going to be these two because they're exact exact same envelopes with the same like paddle on the back. So yay, okay. So these are the extra going um, Polaroids I have for the Luna Studio. I did a group order and I got Go One set. So I don't know if I'll just keep these or not because they're too cute just to have out in my binder. But if anybody would be interested. Uh, I don't know if I would sell them or trade them, just it's hard to find someone who would be interested. So I'm happy I have these, the little colour of the speech bubble thing is too cute. Oh wow, I just stick to cutting it. <laughs> oh. So I traded, well I'm going to trade because I actually got some albums when I was away because I went to America and Canada and I got Exe's, uh, one of her Would You Please cards and so I traded this person because I think they started to collect Exe. Because it was a loaded card, this is not the same person but they have the same envelopes. So I bought these cards actually, they were quite cheap. I am going to trade off or sell the solo card I got because I got the Would You Please cards as a set on eBay. So, um, these WGSN cards I'm going to keep loaded at and then trade off the solo card. Uh, and I'll talk about the trade with that other person because I got it wrong. Because it was another loader card they sent me. So it should be this one, yeah. This this took two days to get. This person sent it in the second, so quick. Yeah, so this is the right one. <laughs> yeah, it's Luda's from WGSN because I did get the from WGSN album for Christmas, and. I can now start focusing on other releases for WGSN, but try to prioritise my happy moment. So I traded off one of Exe's photo cards because I pulled her card and then I ended up just thinking, ah, oh, because I can barely find any of the cards on eBay, so I just bought the set on eBay instead of, like, it worked out to be cheaper, so I just did that. So I don't actually need this card. So much washi tape. <laughs> And we're getting all ghetto groups here. So we have this one from from WGSN. <laughs> it's so cute. Sorry, I have like 
Cheetos in my nails because <laughs> I was eating a lot of Cheetos when I was in America and it's hard to get out so I apologize for Okay, so I just moved my tripod to make it a bit bigger so I can fit more things in. Um, so we'll go on to this packaging. So I got this from eBay. I have completed Wendy's rookie set. Ooh. I still need to get her album cover. I should. If, I think I found it on Zen Market with a bunch of. Like it comes in a bundle. I think it one of Joy's rookie cards come with it. I can't remember the exact items all together, but I do know it's got Wendy's um, cover, so it was kind of a main priority just to get that. So we have this rookie card now. Yay! Her set is complete. And we'll go on to... I've still got quite a few that are quite thin, so let's just do this one. Yay! <laughs> I've bought from this person quite a lot on eBay because they have the same little card thing, the business card for their eBay shop. And I have Leo's set complete for his solo because I got his album for Christmas. <laughs> um, I went with Rabbies. I can't find Rabbies other version, which is quite upsetting because I kind of just want to complete like the solos because I think Ken has one. So I think I can complete uh, the Ravi one, I can just, like, find Ken's album. I think it's more of a collaboration, but you still get a Ken folk card. Ugh. Too much washi tape is sticking to my fingers. Uh, I think I'm just gonna use this. Oh, I've done it. It was open. <laughs> okay. Um, one thing I've realised is, see, the company Vix are signed to jellyfish i'm pretty sure their cards are super super thin like they're so fragile and i just oh it makes me feel quite i don't know like you just want to put it into the binder right away okay sorry about that my brother just came in and i had to go down and say hi and stuff like that so this is quite funny because i don't actually collect twice anymore but someone actually offered me to trade one of my santa lenticulars for this momo one it is Something I've always wanted <laughs> because I've been wanting to trade that Santa lenticular card for ages. So I think even if I'm not going to collect Twice's most recent releases, I can at least try and finish the ones that I have started collecting. So I just need Jihos now. That's good because I thought this card would never come in because I traded it quite a while ago. So it's weird because. <laughs> It's just that I'm not collecting twice anymore, but I kind of miss the collecting them. It's just, I think it's too much. It's just too much in general for me, especially with all the groups I collect. So, so I'm kind of out of from running upstairs. So we have, it's not focusing, um, Lenticular. She looks so good. Um, I'll put this here. And then we'll go on to another thinner one. I think this is the last thin one, which is this. And this has the most coolest, like, I've never seen stamps. So, I don't know, they're... I think, yeah, they're from the US, so... Okay, so this was a Twitter um, group order. I got a Jungu's hollow sticker for regular oh my god it's so pretty it's like different from their other hollow cards because it's like reflection like reflected as well i'm trying to move my head away so you don't see my head <laughs> but this is really pretty i don't know if i'm going to be able to get all the other things that are to do with regular but hopefully oh no <laughs> hopefully we can try okay so that's just going to be like that for just now maybe they, i don't know where to put it over here where the light isn't. Yeah. And so we'll go on to the bigger things. I'll do these ones, I guess. Um, what's this one?
I bought two of these because I want to try and get five at least so I can make one for each member and I think I have five just now but I'm thinking I need I shouldn't have bought two because I'll have six now. We yeah. But but I don't have my fourth season greetings in yet. Like that's too overboard for me. Like what I do not I have negative two brain cells. But um yeah, I think it'd be cute if I can just make one for each member and then I don't know what to do with the last one, but I think it's nice to have because I think this is so cute. Like, even though the other groups had, like, better things, I think this is quite different and I quite like it. So, yeah, I won't put this in the frame. Oh my god, it's so pretty. <laughs> the pink and the black hair. When will the black hair make it return? I'll leave that there. So we'll go on to more bigger things now. I have four packages left. Okay, so we have this one. I think I know what this is. I think these are red velvet photo cards. Open it up. Yay! Okay, so I've completed my perfect red velvet. Oh, and forgot about this one. Um, I think there's two. Or never mind. I think they put in top holders for each full card. Uh, this is great because I can now focus on Magic Summer and try to do RPP. But RPP, the full cards are just too expensive, and I'm not gonna go there. Like. Um, I've seen people sell them for like $13. I don't think that's a justifiable price. Especially for red velvet cards because the albums are quite not like not even that expensive. So um we have Jungkook's uh KYH part two. I have one more photo card I need for this and it is Jimin's. Jimin, I should be trading him for a hassle card, so We've completed this finally. It's hard for me to get decent priced um, photo cards for the Magni line, so it's great that I have him and I've got a trade coming in for Jimin. And then the Perfect Red Velvet. I've basically completed the set for version B because I did have Joy's set for both versions. So this is version B. Well, kind of, not really version B, but the photo cards I associate version B with because I kind of like made them the cutesy kind of card um, for version B or it's either version B or version A so put these here um, but yes I've completed the set which is great finally um, and now let's go on to another one so let's do this one because this is the closest one to me postcards. So for the most recent Vex album, I don't want to pronounce it because my pronunciation would be horrible. And um, for the black version, I have Leo's. I recently got the red one and I pulled Leo's card, which is great. I didn't pull an N card. I usually pull N all the time, which is really, really weird. But I think pulling Leo is quite good because I think he's one of the more expensive cards. And I also have two of the postcards. I wouldn't know the members for this, but um, hopefully I can get some more of the postcards in. But in the camera, it looks like different black and white. That's weird. Hmm, I'll put these up here. Okay, so my camera died and I didn't charge it for that long, so I have to be quick because I'm impatient because I know these have Luna cards in it and these have like a bunch of there's Luna cards, there should be some Red Velvet, and there should be my NCT, my Jamin Dream Show cards. 
So let's open this one first because it should be the folk cards I got from an Instagram seller that sold me just random soul slash subunit folk cards. Okay, <laughs> I took this leave out before the cards. So there should be three here, yeah. So we have Kim Lips version, her second album, her version B album. This is the version B card. And then I have this Lipso subunit that I didn't manage to pull, which is great. So I have the Lipso subunit complete and then this Hassel and Luna one where I got the Hassel and Luna album I was supposed to get on EP. I got it in New York. So I managed to get that and pulled the other folk card that I didn't have for this. So I had to see it complete for Hassel and Luna, which is fantastic. We get somewhere with Luna. My Luna collection has grown so much. I'm so, so happy about it. So let's open this. There's so much stamps on it. There should be... Okay, I'm gonna open this up off camera just so it's easier and I don't waste any more battery. So I'll see you guys when this is opened. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull everything out and go through it all, I guess. There's so much here. <laughs> okay, so do the big one first. Okay, so I managed to get Jamin's uh, ticket holder and I actually found his collect book on Instagram and that is me complete with uh, all of the NCT 2018 things, hopefully, but I'm so happy I have this. Um, I didn't actually think I was only going to get these cards because I thought they were so rare and I could never find any of Jamin's, but the seller was so kind and managed to get it for me. So I definitely think I'm going to go back to that seller quite a lot for rarer things or for cards for quite cheap because I did get my Luna full cards quite cheap for the price people are selling them at. So yes, and I'll show you guys what else I got. I got um, Jamin's, there's sell tape on the side but I got his standee with his holo card. So that's great. I have this finally. I still need to like I've been saying this quite a lot because it's frustrating because I don't know what is available for the regulate and regular cards so I'll have to look into that more I don't know if anybody could tell me but um yeah it's quite frustrating so then we'll go on to these there's so many here okay so I forgot to show this we have um, Jamin's passport wallet thing. I don't know what this is. Yeah, passport wallet. It's really, really hard. I thought it was going to be quite soft, but it's really hard. And for the, I got the full card along with it. I'll show you guys. This is it. So pretty. His pink hair was amazing. I just want him to go full on dark black hair. So now we can go on to all the full cards. Um, there's a lot here, so bear with me. We have Irene's uh, some photo card. I don't know what else to call it. This is the version one, so I just need. I think I need Wendy's, and I think I found hers. And I also have Wendy's the Velvet photo card. And I should have Gary's coming in soon. And we can go on to all the Luna photo cards now, and the NCT Dream ones. Well, the dream show. So for um, plus plus version A, I have basically all the members apart from Heejin. There's so many phone cards here. Like I've completed this um, set for plus plus. They were selling it really really cheap, and they also put a discount on for me since I was buying so much. They were so so nice. I can't believe I had these now. It's so surreal. Go on, Hassel, and then Cherry. So yeah, that's that. And then I have the version B. I actually already have Choose 
um, Hyunjin's and Yojin's, so there's less here, but I don't have um, Heejin's card in this because they didn't have it and they couldn't find it, so I managed to find someone on Instagram who was selling it, so I managed to get that for an okay price, but not in compared to these ones. This photo card is beautiful. Hassle. We have Go Ones and um, Jinsoles, this is so precious. This one too, her apple hair, and cherry, I think I'm lip, I think that should be it, yep. And then that is that, and then we go into the dream show, I managed to get all of them. So you have the four for the first dream show, and then the dream show, the, well, the second dream show, I've got all six. So the backs are really, really pretty on these. Oh, I think these are in order of the, if that's the way they put it. So... We've got all four, and put them here, and then for the dream show, dream show day, um, one to six, the backs are so They're pretty, and these are so, so pretty. The backs on these ones are just um, black, white, and green, the NCT green colour, and these are the photo cards for day two, not day two, I keep on saying that, dream show two. So pretty. I like how they have some pictures with his new hair. Well, not really new, but like his darker hair. <laughs> that one's so precious. I think this photo card's really nice. I don't know if this is in order of the days, but um, yeah. I also have, well, one last thing is the Luna Lining Up Polaroid set. I managed to get all of them. So I have an extra gold one and that is up. I don't know if I'm going to keep it the same ones, the same as these ones, but yeah, these are not in order. Uh, there we go. I just put them in order. Sorry. So we have this full, the whole set. Heejin, Hyunjin, this one's really pretty. Hassle with the heart attack bow. Heejin. Baby with her dark hair. Like, remember when she was on Luna TV and then her. Um, oh, the dark hair is superior. And Kimla. Jensol. Cherry, this one's so cute. Eve, this one's gorgeous. Ju. The one and Ju. This one is so pretty. We stand officially. Impressionally and multi-talented group. <laughs> okay, so that is all I got. There's so much here and I am surprised. I honestly, sometimes I forget how much I trade and buy. So yeah, um, sorry if I'm being quiet. It's just because I do have family over. I don't want to be too loud and over like, like shouting at myself in my room. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Hi okay, guys, so I have one letter here. It's quite a big difference to the last clip, but I do have three packages that are at the post office. I'm pretty sure there should just be albums because I did get EXO's Love... No, I got... Yeah, I got EXO's Love Shot, both versions, but that was quite recent, so I doubt that'll be it. But I also bought their repackage for Don't Mess Up My Tempo. I'm pretty sure there's going to be one photo card in here. It's really thin. And I also lost my exacto knife, so I'm using this tiny pair of scissors for like threads and stuff. <laughs> I didn't want to use my my green, my blue uh, scissors because I just really don't like them. Oh, that flew! Um, and I just had these lying around, so I just decided to pick these up. Ah. Okay, so I think I mentioned this to you guys. Um. <laughs> I found another bid on this photo card. I think I mentioned it in my colored photo card collection. Um, okay, get these out. All boy groups here. What a difference. So, I can't actually remember if I have this card or not, but it's an extra one. Um, or it's one to add to the collection because I do have quite a lot of Love Yourself cards that are... Um, marked in my binder that they're on the way and I've not received any recently which is quite concerning because I 
can't remember the Instagrams the others, probably that's where I bought from. I can't remember like or find the DMs. So I just have to kind of wait it out and just keep on looking through my DMs. But yeah. I also have junk cooks, you never walk alone. I think this is the last card I needed to complete the set. We have that one as well and some one. Wait for it to focus. We have that one. Um, this card, I loved it so much. I loved the blue hair. He was so, he looked so cute in it. <laughs> so I do have marks still up, but I probably want to cross that trade that to anything else on my entity wish list or just anything on my wish list. I don't mind cross trading as long as the cards are the same value and price. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Hi guys, I have one letter again. I have to be really quick because I have to go get a taxi. I'm going to go get the packages that I've missed in the past couple of days just because I came home quite early because I got the earlier bus from school so I managed to come here and I need wanted to drop my bag off and all that um, and plus the post office is open later so I can do that and then hopefully gonna go watch a movie um, so I need to be quick because the taxi might come anytime soon well it should be in another 10 minutes at least but gotta be on time because I'm never on time <laughs> but yes one package again and um, let's see what's in it I'm using my little scissors again just because they're quite convenient yay <laughs> oh I didn't know if this would come in really quick or not um I'm surprised with how fast it came I have Heejin's card, the last card I needed to complete my set. <laughs> That's really nice. I didn't actually trade the person. I um, bought this card just because I needed it and it was probably one of the things I just needed to get and it wasn't too overpriced, especially for Heejin. Um, this is quite funny because the two members are behind her, but yes, this, this Folk card completes my whole plus plus um folk card set. I'm so 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 happy that this is done and now I just need to focus on whenever their new album comes out. F rumored February time I think people are saying but I don't know. Don't know how to feel about it but I'm excited. Um so yeah so basically this full video is you guys watching me <laughs> Finishing my Luna collection, not finishing the Luna collection, but finishing my Plus Plus collection and it's so exciting. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hi. Hi. It's the same day and I managed to get the parcels, well the packages, whatever. Um, this is my love, no this is my Vivace, Vivace, I don't know how you pronounce it, but this is the album I got. I don't have Love Shot yet because I think they should be coming in quite later. These are my WJSN cards and then I have just a few red velvet things in here and that does include a folk card so I thought I'd just put it into the video. So I'm going to open up the album first and this one and then this one. So let's see what card I put in the Vivace album or the repackage of um, Don't Mess Up My Tempo. Probably won't. Okay. Oh, he looks so good. Shimon, I feel like I have pulled Shimon quite a lot <laughs> recently. Oh, that picture. Where is it? This one, oh my god. Okay, so I'll take this out. Try and put it up for trade if anybody can trade with me. But yes, we got him. I might leave the album up here. Photo cards, and we'll go on to WGS well, the red velvet package.
So I actually did get some of the RBB standees in and that I didn't record that so I was kind of hesitant to whether to record these just because it's the same thing and you guys didn't see me unbox the RBB ones and I got Yeti's Summer Magic one so I can show you guys what members I got for this. So for Summer Magic we have Sophie's standee with the hollow card, Irene's joys and also wendy so i have a complete set for that and i also have a complete set for this because i have yeti's and wendy's now i got the joy sugi and irene one um before this because the members weren't in stock but the seller managed to put them back in and i just wanted to get all the members because i did not want another mishap with the um like the bad boy ones so I think for that it's good that I have them and now this package this one's tiny but it has a lot of cards in it so if you can see the bulkiness there's so many cards in here there should be 30 because I got the set for would you please and now the just day is out. <laughs> the song's amazing. I don't know if I'm gonna get the albums or not. Um I wanted to get it off of the G Mark no G Market, the Starship um, website. And they did it through the website that my Orbit fan club kit came in. And I think there was custom fees on that, so I'm kind of I was kind of hesitant. And I don't think I will get it from there because I don't want to get any custom fees. So um, I don't know if the cards will be rare or not. The ones you get from the Starship eShop, I think it's called. But yeah, there's so many cards in here. Take them all out. So let's just go through them all. I guess they're all stuck to each other. So, okay, so for the versions, I'm just gonna do them in the version set. So I think this is the Dream Carrier version from the green bag. So we have Luda, and so Diane, Bona, Sabin, Yoram, Exi, Sola, oops, Yeonjung, and Damoy. So that's great. Um, for this laying these out in my binder, I'm just gonna put Dai on, no, Dai on, in her dedicated area. And for my top three, obviously there's only one member, and that's Loda. So I'll just put her in with the other members, I think. So this is the Dream Collector version, the yellow backs. The colours on the photo cards and for the album are so pretty. See the albums on my shelf, it just makes everything so, so nice. I love the colours so much. It kind of just pops out and the colour is so refreshing to look at. I could just like gush over it all day really. <laughs> so here's Yoram, Sibin, Yeonjung, Exi, Nsu, Bona, Dayang, this card's really pretty, Sula, Luda and Damon. I think this is probably my favourite set from them, they're really really nice. And lastly, this is the Dream Promise version. Well, that's what I have here in my thing, but on the backs it says Creators of Your Dream. Hmm. Okay, so we have Exe. This is the card I pulled from the album, so it's quite familiar to me. Luda, oh my god. Your own, this is really pretty. So, uh, I have this one for over. Sailor Trade. Yeah, I have an extra one. Dalwan, Bona, and so they're looking similar here. It's so so freaky. Sipin, she looks so good with her hair. Yeonjung, this is a pretty full card. And Dayang, this card's so pretty. See her little wrap she did in the um, La La Love. Oh. The bitch actually shook. I'm surprised she's like an ace. Like, I know her vocals were amazing, but her rap, little rap thing, I was shook. How, how can someone be so perfect? <laughs> but yeah, 
Um, that was this. I'm happy I have these, like, a set complete for WGSN. I never knew this would happen, but it ended up really, really cheaper for me if I got just got them as a set. And maybe not trying to collect them through a long period of time. But with the happy moment cards, they're quite cheap anyway, so... Um, I didn't want to overspend with these ones, so the buying as a set was probably just the best thing for me to do. But yes, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Hi guys, I managed to get a different backdrop thing. I went out to my like local art place. Well, I went to Paper Chase, which is basically a big kind of art slash crafty kind of store. Um, it has loads of different things and they managed to sell paper, so this kind of replicates like a desk, so it's kind of better than my previous one, so I'm glad I have this. Um, and I have two letters here. I think I'm going to open the bigger one up first, just because I'm quite curious to what it is. I think it's a trade, but I'm never too sure. Yay! Okay, so I traded my one of my Luna photo cards. Oh my god, their handwriting is so pretty. So I'm trying to get it out of the top loader. So I've completed the set for HYYH part 2, which is amazing. For some reason, I don't have a lot of German photo cards, so I'm happy I was able to trade a Luna photo card for. This one, and I hope the person I treated with, um, has, um, um, I wish them good luck with their Luna collection and their Polka collection in general. So now we'll go into this one, this little small. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is my Nyan uh, press elastin version for high pressing. Oh my god, I've completed um, high pressing now with this photo card. Oh my god. This is so cute, I can't go over this little note. So yes, I also traded, I traded, I traded an NCT full card for this one, I, I think it was Hachan's regular card, and I wish the person receives him okay, because this took away for um, Nylon to come in, and also the Hachan card hasn't reached the other person's side of the trade, I hope they do get it at least, but Yay, I'm happy because we have two set completes with these cards. Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> sorry if you're being quiet. My throat's a bit weird. It's, I don't know. It's been quite weird all day, but but yes. I'll see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> Bye. Hi guys, I have two letters here. This is not a photo card, it's a pin. And I'm pretty sure it must be, I think I ordered a Luna um, enamel pin thing. And this packaging for it is so, so cute. I'm gonna try and open it up and show you guys because if it's not the Luna one, I'll probably just like cut this out and go into the um, one letter that's got a full card in it. But let's open this up. It's so cute. I really don't want to like, oops, like damage it, but I think the only thing you can do is try and like peel it off. I've never seen this kind of packaging before. It's so cool. I didn't have my scissors in my hand. Oh. It is the little one! Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh. Okay, they added... I, I think because I pre-ordered this, the seller like the person who runs the account um made like a pre-order gift well not made them but like put them in as freebies for people that pre-ordered the um pin and we got some cute little buttons here these are so so nice 
oh my god so we've got the subunits we've got yy yy auto cycle and one third and they have yogurt in there as well that's great you can see my face <laughs> the auto cycle pin but this is so cute oh my god and um for the pin itself it is from favorite uh I thought it was really pretty and it's really heavy but it's so so nice. Yes, so that is the account. I found it on their Instagram at first so check them out. I don't know if they still have it available but if they do, because I think it's worth it <laughs> if you like not collecting pins but just having pins of certain groups or whatever, just randomly. Because I have quite a few pins, but I don't have a pin collection. But yes, so I'll open up this now. Um, and a surprise for this, it was because I mainly see enamel pins for boy groups, and it's like annoying that there's not a lot of girl group ones. And I'm pretty sure they do. They're doing a red velvet one. Like a, um, I don't know. I think it's peekaboo but I don't know if it's that exact seller or if it's something else because I followed a bunch of people that make enamel pins because I find them really really pretty yay so we have BTS cards here <laughs> I think these are both Jin's cards um I traded EXO photo cards for these ah okay I think this is freebie. This is black pink. Oh my god, this is so nice. I'm sorry about the lighting. I didn't want to put my um big light on, and sometimes it just gets it's quite annoyingly yellow. So yeah. Um. So we have RMs. This is his E version. I've been um mixing up the E version and the S version. So yes, that's his for answer and then I have Jin's this is the O version I think for her ah, so if we want to focus there you go it's so so pretty I like that one even though like all the other members are kind of in like a cloudy environment I kind of like how this is a bit different popping out of the grass but yes I'm so so happy <laughs> that these came in and I'll see you guys in the next clip Bye. Okay, so I have one letter here and I have the EXO Love Shot albums, the repackage for Don't Mess Up My Temples. I'm going to open these up first to just to see um, what photo card I pull and we'll open up this one. So let's get opening. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly see what photo card we get. Hopefully we pull a chain at least. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, wow, I was lucky for once. Okay, so I got to be quick because my camera is quite low in battery. And Kai. Okay. I'm happy that we got Chen at least. And then let's open this quickly. Okay, so I managed to get out the packaging and there's quite a lot of sellotape in here so I'm going to try and at least take it out off camera so it'll be two minutes. Okay, so I managed to get them out of the packaging. It was really well protected so I'm glad that that these came in perfect condition and I just was looking on my Instagram to see what I treated them with and it was a Kim lip. Um, one of her solo cards for her um, solo album. Just trying, trying to get the last of the washi tape off of this. So, because I didn't get the bookmarks in my Dream Your Dream album, I decided to just trade these because since they had it on their account, um, I only have two of the three, so I'm hoping to find another one at least. But these are the ones I have. So I managed to get one up with most of, well, three of my top four. So yes, I'm happy I have these. I don't know how I'm going to store them. I think if I find a three pocket sleeve in my room somewhere because I have quite, probably there's a chance I don't have any, but I'll try and find one 
at least but I think these would fit perfectly in there I'm guessing but yes um thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next clip and also if anybody wants to trade this card for Chen's other version um that would be great um I'm happy that I was able to pull his card as soon as I said oh I want a Chen card I got it so I was lucky in that case but um yeah so I'll see you guys in the next clip bye Okay, hi guys, I have three more letters in here. I've already opened one up just because I was curious and I was impatient so I just opened it up but I didn't take, I only had a peek so I didn't take the actual photo card out but I still have everything inside so we'll just open this one up first and then see what else is in these two. I'm thinking I'm going to open this one up first after, well before this one and then after this one. So let's open this one up. So I'm pretty sure I traded, um, I think it was an EXO card for this, and this is one of Chen's four life. So that's nice. Um, I completely forgot what folk card I traded this one for, but the seller, well the trader, added a nice little note, and a cute ass memo pad which I accidentally ripped, but it was only on his face. <laughs> anywhere in the poster and I cut his face well <laughs> this is cute anyway and then the little note which was cute yes yeah, so I I think it was exo photo cards I think it was probably like a Schumann I think it was Suho maybe Schumann or Suho I sold them took a photo card and then I traded one of the photo cards for this Chen one Ah, so I tried to fix my camera there, I do not know what happened. It's just going bloody. Mm, okay, so let's open this one. I'll try and get it to go in focus. Okay, there we go. I do. This is a bunch of Gutter Group full cards. Um, I traded with this person ages ago, but they're um, my side of the trade, the side that the cards I was getting, they got lost. Technically, the trader didn't package the letter up as well as it, as it should have been, just because the cards slipped out of the envelope. Um, I think it was just like in, in the moment like the trader must have just forgot to peel the seal off and then stick it down but he did use washi tape so I'm guessing they were just in a rush and I didn't have a problem with it but it did take a while for this to <laughs> come back and they did have a few cards that I um sorry I was reading a bit earlier um but yeah so I was mad I was thankful that they were able to have some other cards I did need. Okay, so I'm reading this and they said that they tried to send extra to make up for everything. Oh yay, okay, I'm so happy that this one finally came. And this little note is so, so cute. I am not too annoyed with it. I was just kind of at the time, I was like confused, but obviously with being able to talk to the trader, the Instagram person, she was understanding and she wasn't like at all mean in a way because you know how some people can get kind of mean. Um, I'm trying to get this to focus on one thing at least. Um, so yeah because I think it could happen to anybody you know it's always an unlucky day and since they had other cards that I was looking for I, I'm guessing it kind of worked out in that way. And they packaged it up really well this time. <laughs> and there's a bunch of cards here because I remember we traded quite a few cards initially. Um, let's try and get these out the top loaders. <laughs> there's so much here. As you can see, there's quite a few WSN cards here. And we have the Wendy rookie card that I already have, but 
I can get, I guess I can just trade it off. Pay with us, and then we can get these out. I think I'm just gonna take all of them out first, and then just go through them all. There's so much here. I, I don't know how many cards, like maybe five or six we traded at first. So we definitely have added more than the NFL trade. Okay, so we have a bunch of Would You Like cards. Um, I think I was supposed to just get... I don't think I marked everything off in my... Um, Google spreadsheet, but I was supposed to get Shrani and Bonas and um, Would You Like and then Sung Soo's from WGSN Hmm, okay, so I can't remember exactly the cards that I was supposed to get, but I'll probably know what ones I don't remember them taking a picture of So we have this Bona one, I'm glad I have this And I have Shrani I'm Subin. So we have more members for Would You Like? And then this Wendy card. Song so This Wendy card was initially in it. So it was a Song so card, and I think this Unso one it was as well. So we have some happy moment full cards. I mean, have a Yoram one. Ah, okay, that's good. And then I think these are Bona and Song so ones. So I think I have these but I think it's good to have just to trade off because these members are quite popular and I guess it would be easier to trade these ones off but I'm so so thankful that they were able to put in more photo cards than initially that we were supposed to trade with and I do understand um, what happened and I'm just thankful how kind of the trader was so yes there's so many cards here Try and lay them all out. <laughs> okay. So I don't think I have this one. I definitely do have these two Song Soo ones. I can't remember if I bought the Bona one though. Hmm. So let's open the last one up. Okay, um, I got these cards for so so cheap. I managed to get a bunch of um, Wiki Mickey and I got a Preston card. I can't remember if it's all Wiki Mickey, but yes, I managed to get my bias, my top bias in Wiki Mickey, just because I think if I can collect their folk cards first and then just buy their albums without the folk cards, that'll be perfectly fine. But so for the Preston card we have this Kyla School Out one. I have a bunch of the School Out photo cards coming in because someone was selling the cards for so so cheap and I managed to secure quite a few of them. I think I just need um, some of their postcards and I should be done. All I need is Rena's out version for the photo cards. And for the postcards we need Unu and Shia. Ooh, okay. So Preston's getting somewhere. I think I want to just complete all the cards just now before anything happens with them, which I doubt will happen, but just to have a secure amount, like I have basically all the cards up to date <laughs> because it's been quite a while and I think it's time to catch up to them at least. <laughs> so another um group I want to collect. Well, my top three are Wiki Mickey and I adore Ellie so much. She is my bias. I've watched all of their um, variety show episodes. They're so, so, so funny. I love them so much. And their songs are so good. I think their b-sides are so underrated. Even their title tracks, like, Crush popped off. Um, I have nothing else to say. But yeah. Um, I got some of the photo cards from Lucky and then the their first mini Wee Me I think it's called Wee Me so um I'm hoping to at least collect my top three which is Ellie 
Lena and Lucy. Yes, so I, I'm going to do a K-pop journal kind of thing and it kind of shows you my goals for this year and one of my goals is to start collecting W, no not W, start to collect um, Lucky Mickey and this has started it. So this is great. I don't know the card versions but this is for their debut. I know that at least and I think there's two versions. Hmm. I cannot remember. Just dropped her there. <laughs> and then these are the lucky photo cards. There's quite a few for these, but um, I have quite a few arenas coming in. They've still not arrived, but we'll just go through these quickly. She is so beautiful. And in the backs. Okay, so we are overloading with ghetto groups, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi guys, I have one thing in today, but I also have my Is One M Wave albums. I managed to get them with a group order, but I didn't manage to get the two members I wanted. I got one, but um, I managed to get the two, same two versions. Um, so we got the He one and I got Umbi's signed copies. Sadly, Umbi's is quite smudged because M Wave don't take care of their items. Um, I don't know if it was M Wave or just the ghettos because obviously they have to sign so much. But I have no problem with it at all. And. He wants is in perfect condition, so I think I'm just gonna show you guys the photo cards I got with it because they do come with photo cards. And then we can open up this. Okay, so for Umbi's, I chose, well, I managed to get her, well, her unit card, and I have Che um CD plate, so I'm hoping to at least get her other CD plate. And I think I'm just gonna collect them two, but. Maybe for Korean albums I can collect all 12 members because I have like, quite a few of the folk cards anyway. And I have a, like around another few because I have a fan sign coming in and it is a fan sign from probably like a well-known Instagram seller. Um, and I think they're including the albums so I need to get some updates on that. Sorry I moved you down you can see the carpet but so for, I'll move this over but just so it's not taking up too much space. So for the solo, the member card, I have Eugene's. So pretty. Um, and I think I like the basic photo cards. I don't really like the basic backs, but the only good thing about the basic backs are the um, unit ones because look how pretty this is. The little gradient needed with the member colours. So as you can see, <laughs> this is the unit one I got. We've got Umbi, Sakura and Jiyoung. Really nice. Um, yes, so we'll go on to the he one copy. This is the one I think I was... The, she managed to secure me Umbi's photo card. Yeah, and then I got the Chi one and Yeno unit. So this is um, MB's solo, her member card. Um, I don't like how the... Is it the message upside down? I don't like how they did it sideways. Or is it that, like that? Hmm. I think it should be like that, but I don't like the placement of the name. It's quite awkward, like why? I don't know. <laughs> and then the unit one was... Um, Yuna and Chi Won, is it? I think I have a thing with Chi Wons because I don't know if I'm gonna ult I is one, but I do really really love them and I don't want to get attached to them too much because it'll just be the same thing as IY. But I think I'm definitely gonna support the Willem get a group after is one because I'm def they're definitely gonna debut in the new group because that's what they like to do after the disbandment but 
Yeah, so it's going to be hard seeing them all separated. That's one thing I don't like about disbandments, especially like from a group that come, like group that members come from different companies. It's, it's quite oh, frustrating, but um, I don't know if I want to trade off the Heewon signed album because it's really, really pretty and it's in perfect condition. And I think Chiwon's becoming more of a popular member and it'll probably be expensive and hard to trade for. So um, I'll open the package up now. I think it's a trade in here. These came in quite quick. Wow. Oh. Oh. Got a bunch of Preston skill out folk cards. I literally think I mentioned this in the last clip. And they've came. Wow. Well, um, I got these for so so cheap and considering the shipping was so fast, I'm quite happy about that. Take all the washi tape off. I did actually buy this was the second um, seller I bought the pressing cards from. I bought quite a, f a few more from another Instagram seller and I don't know when they should be, don't even know if they're sent out or not but hopefully they're soon. So I have four cards from them and as I said this is more of the smaller bunch I got. Um, I Yes yeah, so most of the other folk cards it should be, I don't know when it should be coming in but hopefully you see the progress of my skill out cards because I think I just would need one of Rena's other cards and just two more postcards, postcard things. I don't know what you would specify it as, but the bigger photo cards really. So for Naya, we have both of her um her unit set. So we have the school and out version. Um, to be honest, it's quite hard to tell for her. Which is the school and what is the out version? I'm guessing this one's the school version and this one's the out version. In version, sorry, not school version. In and out. Because the in one is when they're inside and then the out version is the the one where they're outside. Obviously, that makes sense well. But since the, the two concepts are one in, in the school and one where they're like outside in the beach. And then the rest is the in version. The in version ha also has like um, uniforms in, but you can't really tell with the Nyang one. And I have Rena and Xi'an. The Xi'an one is so, so pretty. So is this Rena one, actually. But yeah, 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 I'm happy I have these. Because I remember from the first sale I got them from, they were really, really cheap, but I didn't find any of Nyan's cards. Because when I was looking at the cards the first seller had, they had like basically one of every member, apart from the one the folk cards I already have. So it was good, like, in a sense, but he didn't have a Nyang one. So when I found someone who posted on Instagram like a bunch of school like folk cards and we were also for cheap, they had Nyang set. So that was so so good because I feel like she would be quite hard to find, especially being an IOI member. But how great is this? We were getting so many good groups. I just love good groups so much. I feel really happy when I get them in. I feel quite guilty because I feel as if most people watch or probably get a group stands and then you just see me getting boy groups folk cards but we have good groups here which is great um so yeah I'm, I'm really really happy with these don't know where my is one collection will go but I do have quite a strong collection just now um well not with folk cards I think with items basically not not member like not the color is folk cards I still need to try with them but not really a main priority, I just need to get Chi One's full card. But yes, I'm rambling on. This video will probably be over an hour. For the past few months now, <laughs> like a couple of months, my videos have been over an hour. Well, basically an hour long. Um, so I guess I'll end the clip here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, I have one big package here. This is from Zen Market. We stand Zen Market. Zen Market's so good for getting cards that are hard to find for me personally, for my collection. And just for cheap prices really, despite having quite expensive shipping, I think the shipping is worth it because you can choose how much the package is worth and then just basically avoid getting any fees. So that's what I did with this. I can make a whole video on like places that I buy from, um, just that aren't from like individual sellers from eBay and stuff like that, like actual websites, maybe. Um, but I also have these two as well. I have two letters, so I'm going to open up these two and then the big parcel because there's...
an album in here that's not sealed, so it's unsealed, but I have full cards and all that. So I'll open up the packages first, the small letters. I don't know if this will focus because my camera's been really weird recently. Okay, I think it's okay. Okay, that was close. I thought I'd cut into this. I actually thought it was going to be this Olivia photo card. Okay, it's not in focus now. That's what I mean. There's something wrong with the focus for some strange reason. Okay, there we go. Um, I knew this was going to be... Yeah, because of my address. My address is... There's a weird thing on my address for my eBay that's linked up to my eBay. It says, like, I live in Scotland, but... It always says Glasgow City of, and I never like send that to people who I buy from and it, like other websites. So I kind of know it's from eBay if it says that. Um, yes, I got this card. I've completed her solo set. I've nearly completed the, the Y Y by my Y Y by Y members. I just need. I think it's Eve's, Eve's soul, and then I'll be finished with. The Y by Y members for their solo cards, but for everything else, I still need a few cards, like especially the unit cards. I need to focus on a bit, but my tripod is up quite high, so I can barely see what um it's focusing on. But this is the Olivia Hay card. See, it just goes really bloody. I apologize, and then we'll go on to this now. Oh yay! And <laughs> more Luna. Um, this person was wanting to trade their Jinsoul attendance sheet to, like, I think it was Eve. I think it was her attendance sheet. But I didn't have a spare Eve one, so she was selling us for really cheap. And I got it, so I have my second Jinsoul, um attendance sheet that I really, really needed. Which is great, because I can finally put it into my sleeves. My sleeves, um, for the unit ones didn't have the, the attendance card in it. And that's what I needed for it to complete the role of the unit cards for Jinsoul, Kim Lip and Jinsoul. So, I, I hopefully it can focus when this comes in because there's, you can't really avoid not focusing on that. So, let's open this up, I'm so excited. Yeah, the listing, it doesn't have the picture on it, but I didn't, I forgot that it came with um, the Red Summer album. I did not remember that being in the picture, but yes, we've got NCT Heat and Red Velvet, my SM Stan ass <laughs> really did this. I got the Jamin and Jungwoo season greetings set, so it comes with the stickers and all that. I don't know if I want to buy an extra pair of stickers because I really want to use them because I have extra for Red Velvet, no extras for NCT because I didn't get the NCT season greetings. I'm just really happy with my Red Velvet ones, so I don't think I need more. But it is, it, it could be nice to get, but I don't, I'm trying to hold myself back from actually getting it, so that's why I got these. Sorry for the bad lighting as well. I don't want to use my light in my room. I'm just using the light at the time it currently is. It's not too dark outside, but it started snowing for some reason. Ooh. Okay, I'll go over the albums first since all the photo cards are in these little folder things. So, we have an extra copy of... Oh, okay, the card's in here. <laughs> I got um, Sogi's normal version for Magic Summer. I think this is the reason why I got it, but I don't remember... The, it, having the um, album in it, so I guess that's cool. I can give that to my friends. I gave him quite a few of red my Red Velvet spare albums for Christmas, so if he wants this, I can give it to him. So yay, we have Sogi. Hopefully I can give him an album that's not that's not a unsealed one, so he can experience opening full cards. And then we have Wendy's cover, so I've completed the Ricky albums. How amazing! This is something I've wanted to do for ages. Ah, oh, it's so satisfying because I remember like speaking of it, like last year, always wanting to hold it off because member covers are quite annoying, especially if you collect all members for a group. But 
I think I'm lucky in a case where I've only have five members, but still, member covers are quite annoying. I'll leave the albums on the side. But it's so, it's, it's just so nice to have, finally. And I got one of Joy's versions for the photo cards. Amazing, because... Um, I don't have any of her versions and now I can finally focus on the rookie sets so now we go into this we have more red velvet cards so I'll just go over the red velvet cards and then the NCT things okay so we have um, summer magic cards and I have one the velvet card okay so I'm gonna look over the prices for these because this is one good thing about the market um, some people sell the velvet cards for really really expensive even though the album's still available to buy so for this Yeti photo card, I got this for £3.60p. It's also so, so amazed with the prices. To be honest, is it focusing? <laughs> um, for Zen Market, these cards obviously are bids, but nobody bids on them a lot because I think the eBay bids are a bit more popular and known to people. So I think you can't see Joy's card there. So I think it's kind of easy to win bids on um, photo cards for Zen Market because it's not as... I don't think there's an app. I think there might be an app for Zen Market, but I usually just go on it when I'm on my laptop or computer. I don't... when I bid on things, it's nothing competitive. Like the eBay ones, eBay ones can be so horrible because you, you think you win it and then someone comes in the last like 10 seconds and like snatches the card away from you. It's so frustrating. Okay, and then for the Summer Magic, for Irene's Limited, I got this for £6.50. So £6.50 for this. Is it focusing? I do apologise for the quality. I can't really tell so much in the viewfinder, but um, yes, we have her Limited. I've been seeing people sell these for like... £13. I don't know what that translates into pounds. $13, sorry. Like, just for the card and not even the shipping. So, I was so happy that I found this on Zen Market. Because I mean, cards are quite expensive. And then for the transparents, I've completed the transparent sets. I got Sugi and Yeri's one. These were both six. No, these were both £3.60. Same price as the Yeri. Um, the velvet cards. I don't know if this is focusing because they're transparent. <laughs> there we go. These cards are so pretty. I love the little fruit they did at the top. So happy about that. And then for the NCT 2019 season greetings. I'm so happy that these were able to be in the same color versions because I'm pretty sure um, like, 10 is close to being my third bias, but I do not know if I want to collect three members. I think Jungwoo and Jamin are enough, um, but it is fun collecting them. So I'm taking all these out. I think they put the messages in them for the members as well, which is so cute. So I'll go over the bigger things and we'll go into the smaller ones. So we have the two A4, um not posters, but photos. These are so pretty. Oh, I'm so happy I have these and I love that they go well together as well with the yellow. Ah. <laughs> then for like the accordion calendar thing with the members on it, we have, this is what they look like, they're so cute. I kind of like the design of this, like they're kind of like players in a game. I think that's fun. And they also included the stickers and the little standy thing. That is his little standy thing. It's only one sided. And then for the stickers, I don't know if this will focus, so I need to apologise. I'll try and look into the viewfinder a bit better. Wait, so so like, like, And Jungle's standy thing. Oh, I'm covering his head. Sorry about that. That's so cute. And then stickers over here. I'm so sorry. I apologize about the lighting and like the awkwardness with the focus. Don't know what was happening with my camera. I'll see you guys in the next clip. This was so exciting to unbox. 
um yeah bye hi guys i just have two letters here i'm gonna be opening them up from the front yeah i'm glad this came in okay condition because i'm trading with the person i traded with traded me a lunar card so i don't know if they're equal as much in value um and there's no top loader so i'm lucky in a sense that it's not bent how do i get this out So we have Handong's selfie version for Escape the Era. So this is my only card that is um, the pinky colour for this comeback. Um, because the other three versions are all with the turquoise blue. And the selfie ones have the pink backs. So it's my first one of the set I think. This, I didn't know how huge this would be, what the hell? Ah. Okay, so this probably isn't something I'm going to collect. I just really like the card and someone wanted to trade one of my the Love Yourself um, tour photo cards. So I, um, oh, <laughs> I think these are the binder cards for, the, I think this is the fourth mu muster. Official fan meeting, the, J the Japanese fan meeting in volume four. So this is the the binder photo card for it. So precious. I think um, it's hard to find for me find and collect these the Japanese ones because I'm pretty sure there's the random photo sets as well, which I have seen. But as there's like seven or eight cards per member, and I'm collecting three my top three for any other official BTS cards. I think it's easier just to do with the ones I have just now and maybe go into them after it, but I don't know. But I think since this is the binder ones and there's only one from each member, I'm going to try and get them, but the other two members I collect are on the more expensive side, but not like as expensive as like a Jimin and Jungkook. So yeah, it's kind of frustrating in that way, but I do think um, tea is quite expensive as well. But then Yoongi's like underneath them all, but still in that expensive range. But like the lines drawn um after Yoongi, like and then the other three members are quite cheaper. But some BTS even album cards are really expensive, and that's something that just kind of puts you off the trading, you know. <laughs> but well, off of the collecting, so yeah, it's quite frustrating. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next clip if there is any. Bye. Okay, hi guys, I have one letter here. I think there's multiple folk cards in here and I think they're my Preston school out cards. There's so many stamps on this. Um, this was supposed to come in yesterday, but signature was required. So I just went off to the post office and got to myself instead of getting it redelivered. So yes, um, I'm guessing these are my Preston cards. I'm so excited for these. So, so excited. Uh, I didn't think they'd come in that quick, but we got them in January. I'll have a big difference from my previous collection update because I do one December time and in January time. So at the end of January, there'll be quite a big difference there, but let's open this up and see if it is the Preston cards or not. This is the Instagram seller. Really, really, really cheap prices for these cards, and they also gave me a freebie as well. So that was great. It wasn't even like a freebie you would expect. It's kind of a more, it's not an album photo card, but it's a photo card I'd love to have. And they saw that I was a Roa collector, well, a Roa biased person. Um, so yes, we got a Roa photo card, as you can see from here. <laughs> I'll show you guys that at the end because I think it's a bit... No, I'll actually show you guys first then we can go through all the photo cards because there's quite a lot here. So for the freebie they got me... They gave me one of the Preston V Showcase cards and it's a unit one with um, Minkyuan and Nayang. So pretty. I think I'm gonna... I don't know if I should put this in with my Roa collection because 
if I get the other row card, it will look nice in my row section, but then I want to have all of the unit ones. So I'll go for the little photo cards now. So for these, um, I've got three of them, and we have Kilkian. I always think I say her name wrong, but <laughs> anyway, we have Sinyan, and then Rena, and in the back. It's quite a good run, actually. Well, so I think I need maybe I think it's Xi'an's postcard. Yeah, so I only need Xi'an for all thing for this set. Uh, I think I need all together. I need two photo cards to complete it now since I've bought all these, which is amazing. So I'll just go through the cards. So for U, I have her set. I also have her photo already, so completed hers. This was a look. Everybody was shocked when this came out, but then it wasn't real. And then she she trolled us. <laughs> so this is the out version. This is the in version. And then for Yuha, we have the out version. This is because I have her in version already. I had her. She was one of the first cards I got with the Muscula, even though I didn't have the albums. But I eventually got the albums and I didn't pull any of the photo cards I already had previous to buying that. And then Roa, I have her other version, which is her out version. This is so pretty. What a nice looking photo card. I really love the feel of these as well. They're nice and smooth. Kind of matte, but like the feel of it's really nice. She looks gorgeous. And then Kyla, I already have her in her out version, so we have her in. This one's really pretty. I think I prefer this one over her other one. And for Kyokyang, we have her set. So we've completed her set with the photo and the two versions. This card, oh my god, a visual. Just makes me really sad looking on these pictures, oh, but it's really happy for me as well because I'm able to complete a set for them. Well, nearly complete a set, but you know, we're nearly there. But it's just frustrating because I kind of want to finish the set off before we come back anytime soon, which is going to be not so soon. But yeah, so for the last two members, I have Sung Young's set. So we've completed her full set as well. These are so cute! Look at her little cheeks! And then lastly we have Johanna's set as well. Her hair and this is so nice. All of Preston are visuals. Can't deny it. So we have her set complete as well because I'm pretty sure I have her photo. So all we need is Xi'an's photo version thing. I'm calling it a photo version because I'm not calling it a postcard because it kind of doesn't make sense because it's not really a postcard, but it's like just bigger than a photo card, so I'm calling it a photo. <laughs> and then we only need Rena's out version, and then it'll be us complete this, completed it, so it's so exciting. <laughs> this was quite a lot of photo cards, but as I did say, the person selling them was really nice and the prices were really, really decent, so but yeah, I'll see you guys later, bye! Hey guys, I have one package here. It's NCT photo cards. I'm so so excited because I got some new ones and I swapped them for what I was supposed to be collecting them for so I can kind of explain it when I open them up. But how cute is this? This is gift for friend. <laughs> I just thought that was so cute. Um, so let's open this up. I'm trying to be quick because I have to go to the post office and my battery is going to be running out probably anytime soon just now. So. Okay, so I think these are an individual... So we can show this one first because I have an extra one. This will be off for sale or trade for any... I think I have all of my NCT cards that I'm wanting just now. Maybe I might want to trade this for another Regulate card. Because I don't know if I want Tails or not. Because I have his... Um... Fire truck. So we have his, finally. So I've completed this set because I changed my Taeyeon card for 1-1. One -one since I put 1-1 one -one in the album. And the album... Which I was happy about because the card's super pretty, so I'm just gonna have him and a steel card. And then I swapped my Doyoung Empathy 
for this um, general one because I thought this was more like suited for like the selfie kind of look I was going for for the um, photo cards because you can't really see his face as much since the quality of the photo card that isn't, isn't that great. Okay, my camera ran out of battery surprisingly so um, I was just mentioning like I think with the this card I, I really like um, the, the whole concept of this one and plus I already have Do Young's regular cards so I think that's too close. I'm trying to collect one card for like each different member so I'm hoping if I get regularly, if I get another card for regularly I might get either Johnny's or Taeyeon's but I don't know because I still don't know what card I prefer out of that set. I think it's okay for 1-1 one -one because for 1-1 one -one, I have his fire truck card and there's quite a few comebacks before the empathy one because I have his, I think it's his reality version for empathy, I can't remember but I think if, as long as there's a gap and it's not too close from each comeback because I kind of want a variety of the members, that's the reason why I'm collecting cards from different comebacks, so yeah. And we finally got um, Jaehyun's Cherry Bomb card, this is probably like my most sought out one because I wanted it for so long, I think he looks so good at it, I really love his hair, and yeah, so nice. And then lastly, instead of having Chungla's, um, I'm probably butchering his name, Chungla, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've heard people say that. Um, I changed it for Mark's because since this is his last comeback with NCT Dream, I thought it might as well because, I don't know, kind of just like a reminder, like this is his last comeback with them, which is quite sad, but yeah. And update, I have, I found someone who was willing to trade an uh, EXO card for um, Mark's, for Mark's the first card, so I've, I've basically completed all the photo cards I want for um, the other NCT members, apart from... The regulate card I want still undecided, but yeah. So we'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Hi guys, I have two letters here. I've got to be really quick because my camera's low battery. I've been forgetting to charge it, but we'll quickly open these up. I'm guessing there's just one photo card in each of the letters. Ah, okay. This is two person. No. Ah, ah, okay, I kind of write it wrong just because this said press in here, but I have two folk cards. I have one of Sogi's RBB cards. Oh, I am so surprised that I was able to trade this for a pressing card because these cards will be so hard for me to collect um, without spending ridiculous prices for them because they're not, I've not seen loads of people sell them for decent prices, so I'm just Okay, so we actually ran out of battery, but I did charge it, so hopefully I don't get interrupted again with the camera cutting off. But yeah, I'm hoping to like find these cards for trades at least, and kind of collect them from there. Unless I find good prices on eBay at least, because people aren't selling them for cheap, which is quite weird, but yeah. Got this freebie, I think it's a sticker. It's a nice one as well, it's from Bad Boy. So... Yay. And then we have this Jin one oh, from Dark and Wild. I recently got this album for Christmas, so we can now start collecting more of their earlier releases, but still focus on some of the other cards as well, but we had that up for trade. So let's open this one now. Yay. So I think I traded a gold one card ones um uh, i think it was her lining up polaroids for this kim lip um max and match card there's some damage to it but i honestly really didn't mind since i know kim lip's cards could be quite expensive but yeah i mean it is quite dirty as well they didn't mention that but like, they did mention the dent and i was okay with that so I don't know if you can tell on camera because of the shadow, but yeah, there. It's not really noticeable the front, which is weird. I'm trying to get it with like the shadow of the camera. So yeah, it's just a pretty card, pretty pretty. Oh, uh, just a bit dirty. Like I'm fine with cards being a bit damaged, but this is quite dirty. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, we have two more cards to complete for this subunit. Then I can focus more on um, one third. One third is quite um, lacking in comparison to the other Luna subunits. So yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in the next couple of there's any. It's probably going to be the last one. And it's probably going to be a really, really long video. So yeah. If you guys manage to make it to this end of the clip. Um, I guess well done. And thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi uh, guys, I just have one letter here. It's probably going to be the last package. I keep on saying this, but this is definitely going to be the last. I can see a card through here. No, it's not actually a card, it's a note. I was guessing it was a card, like the back of a card, but I couldn't recognise the back. So it's actually a note. So let's open the... I can't remember what card I traded this for. Oh my god, I see a cat sticker. Oh. oh my god, these are so cute. Oh my gosh. There's like a gold chain to it. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yes, this was an Instagram trade. I can't remember the card I traded this for. I honestly have the worst memory. But I have Sua's, one of her cards for... Alone in a city. This is her selfie version, I think. It's so pretty. I'm hoping to at least finish collecting these and um, escape the era during their comeback because I know they're coming back soon. So if I can at least finish these sets and then I can focus on their next one, uh, roughly the time they're re releasing teasers or just before the album's out. Um, so, yeah, I hope to do that, but I still have quite a few cards to go, but yeah, this is so, so pretty. I mainly have to um, get that um, Handong's cards, but I still have a lack of certain Sua and Xi'an ones, but yeah. So, so pretty. I can't go over this. Oh my god. Ah, okay. Sorry. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I'll probably insert the clips where I don't talk. And I'm going to play Cherry Bullet's debut q &A because I'm probably standing them now. Um, so yeah, you guys should listen to it too. But it's going to be a night course, so it's going to be sped up. But it's still a bop. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry for being so long. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>